This figure shows different types of interstices in the subsurface. Porosity is the maximum volume fraction of water in the soil. For a well-sorted rounded porous sand, the porosity N is in the order of 0.4. For a poorly sorted, partly cemented sand with smaller grains in the interstices, the porosity N is in the order of 0.2. For clay, for very porous, loosely packed clay, porosity N is in the order of 0.7 and for slightly compacted porous clay, the porosity N is in the order of 0.5. Sand consists of grains, and the forces at work in the pore space are mainly the capillary forces. Clays have a laminated structure and negatively charged surfaces that attract cations, positively charged ions, such as sodium plus and calcium 2 plus in the soil water. The cations are bound to the clay sheets by electrostatic forces, and as a consequence, the soil water that holds these cations is also bound to the clay. These electrostatic forces that hold the water in clays are much stronger than the capillary forces that hold the water in sand. This figure shows us the volume percentage of pores in the subsurface along the vertical axis and the textural classes clay, silt and sand, so going from the smaller to the larger particles on the horizontal axis. The porosity for clay is larger than the porosity for sand and you can also see that by these numbers. Part of the subsurface water is readily available for water flow, this blue curve, whilst another part is retained by surface tension forces as films around soil particles or in small capillary openings or by electrostatic forces. And that's giving in this curve. Note that the summation of water not readily available for water flow and water readily available for water flow equals the porosity. Again, despite its higher porosity, because water is strongly bound to clay surfaces, as I explained earlier on, the volume fraction of water readily available for water flow in clay sediments is much less than for sandy sediments. And this is also reflected in the hydraulic conductivity values. The saturated hydraulic conductivity, usually abbreviated to hydraulic conductivity, is a proportionality factor in Darcy's law, by which both the water and the material through which the water flows are taken into account. So typically, clay has a higher porosity than sand, but sand has a higher hydraulic conductivity than clay. The porosity is a dimensionless number. The hydraulic conductivity is expressed in meter per day. So please do not confuse these. 